So um, since the last video, I have been supremely lazy, if I'm being honest. Um, I haven't done much work in the decking uh, for the filter pit, right? Uh, I've just been observing the way it's uh, working and so far no leakage, no issues, that's been fine and because it's been pretty uh, operational the way I want it I didn't feel the rush to further do anything at the moment um, now we got this border framing coming up right here you see I got the treated lumber 4x4s lined up because we've decided to uh, build a decking around this so I'm gonna have a decking that goes around this border and uh, still trying to make sure that I have enough of the lumber that I want um, to go around um, since this is rather wide it's five and a half feet wide uh, enough to sit down and and have a couple of chairs and maybe even a tiny little table by the pond um, but because it wraps all around and the shape of this pond is very strange um, this kidney shape here makes it very difficult to go in straight line so I'm just gonna have to uh, curve it or make the the framing a little bit um, slanted instead of just being straight that's gonna take a bit more work especially with the way that um, there's a decline that goes um, towards the, the house so I have to like level that up anyway that's not the exciting part that's just what I'm doing on the side uh, the pond itself is uh, not shown any improvement in terms of uh, clarity it's because it's been super warm and sunny uh, there's even more algae now than before which is you know which is part of the process I don't like I said I don't really care too much the algae is it's constantly getting filtered so it's okay all right so we're not gonna We'll worry about this part for a while which is gonna let it do its thing the water return has been operational and uh, doing what it's intended to do so the last couple of weeks been great all right but uh let me turn your attention to this little side project that we got going on here this is a uh, <coughs> kitty pool it is um 10 feet in diameter and about 30 inch across now if you look closely you may see little things swimming around and that is actually a bunch of baby koi that hatch and um, this started about a week and a half ago um, another koi hobbyist was um, telling me that his eggs have hatched um, the parent was an omosako shiro usuri female and a male was a dainichi yellow monkey karashi oi um, and they hatch so I brought home a bunch of eggs thought it was like a couple of hundred eggs or so and I threw into this uh, pool to see how they do um, surprisingly or not surprisingly uh, I feel like almost all of them have hatched because right now to my eyes I mean I'm seeing hundreds if not a thousand or more little baby fish in here um, I thought that the combination of the Shiro Usuri and uh, Daidichi Yellow Monkey would result in like a 50-50 black and light fish, light color fish. But turns out I'm at around 95% light color right now. Perhaps it's a little too young to tell, but so far um, the color pattern seems to favor the Yellow Monkey um, light color. I almost hardly see any uh, black fish in here. Um, they've been hatched for over a week and uh, the size they, they've been growing a lot uh, for feeding I have just been cooking up boiled eggs and using the egg yolk smashing it and throw it in here or um, powder pellets that uh, I found in you know the containers after finishing up the regular pellets um, just throwing them in here and there's also natural things that are occurring inside this pond that the fish are eating um, they are growing quite fast I'm swimming around I'm changing out water not every day 
maybe twice a week at the most right now because this pond is uh, oh this pool I should say is quite large so uh, it's very stable I have an air pump going but uh, it was a little too violent so uh, I shut it off I don't know if it was needed or not it doesn't feel like it was needed um, when I change out water what I do was I use this uh, mesh basket here and I put a little pump in there that way I don't suck out the little babies and I'm just using that water to uh, water the plant around the yard and if we're walking around we're seeing fish everywhere tiny tiny little babies um, so far the so far I mean I'm seeing more babies than eggs when I first got them and of course that doesn't make any sense because that's not possible it's just that they're much more visible now because when the eggs were coming in they were attached to the roots of these uh, watercress so a lot of them were hidden and I thought it was only a few hundred but no it turns out got plenty so this will keep me occupied for the summer and uh, I'll be doing small updates here and there just to kind of see if I can manage to uh, get these to survive that would be a very interesting job in itself and of course there's always going to be that process of selecting the ones you're going to keep and throwing the ones you don't want but right now I'm just excited that uh, I got a pool full of babies here and they all seem to be doing okay um, my observation so far is that uh, they are just eating random stuff around Oh, here's a small black one that is rare to see, but it's right there. See, that's most of them are like yellow. That one's black. Um, they're just eating things that are naturally occurring, and uh, I don't even know if they're eating the stuff I'm throwing in. Hope they are. Um, and uh, eventually, there might be some mosquito larvae in here that the fish will eat when they get a little bigger. So that would be a naturally occurring protein source. Uh, interestingly enough, um, these fish tend to come to the surface in the morning when it's cooler, but right now, this past few days, man, in SoCal, we're getting like, what, I mean, on Sunday we had, today's Wednesday, on Sunday we had, what, a 91 degree temperature, which is very, very warm for us, and the last few days has been in the mid 80s, so uh, <clears throat> today might be the low 80, um, but when it warms up, these little babies tend to kind of just stay at the bottom. And then in the morning when it's nice and cool, they wake up and uh, you can see that there's just a lot of them if I'm walking around here. Hopefully, um, in a few months or so, they'll get to the size where you can really use a net and uh, pick them out. Right now, they all just look like tiny little tadpoles to me. Well, that's what's been going on the last week and a half or so. Um, we'll see if this is an ongoing journey with these fish. See how many will make it. See how many actually turn out to be decent. The parent was a, a decent pair of fish, so I'm expecting the baby to be somewhat, at the very least, a little bit better than pond grade. It just be interesting is to see as they get to about an inch or two how much they're gonna populate this whole swimming pool and it's gonna look super crowded I imagine all right well that's my little update for the last few weeks until next time <clears throat>